never seen an Inuit culture of a dancing bear. Dancing bears are indeed the most popular subjects in contemporary Inuit art, even though polar bears do not really dance in what we call real life. The subjects of a dancing bear comes from Inuit cosmology, according to which the universe is occupied by living beings, the diseased, and spirits. All live in different but interpenetrating worlds. Each human being is endowed with a vital breath and a spirit that integrates a new body when the subject dies. The Inuit conception of the world represents a continuum where everyone is part of a larger whole. This view is still valid today, although there are officially no more shamans in the Inuit territories since most Inuit became Christians during the 19th and 20th century. In the past, shamans served as intermediaries between these three worlds, maintaining their balance. Shamans travel from the world of living beings to the world of the deceased and spirits, lying in the air or in the waters, to maintain the connection between all inhabitants of the universe. The shamans acquire the strength and power of his protective auxiliary spirits who help him accomplish his task. The polar bear was often one of his helper spirits because this animal is extremely powerful, both physically and symbolically. Various rituals were practiced when shamans wanted to communicate with other human groups, or with the deceased, or with invisible entities. Shamans used to play the drum by dancing to call his auxiliary spirits. When they joined him, the shaman could change his invisible appearance. This is the exact moment when the shaman and bear connected to each other, mixing together their spirit, their vital breath, and their bodies. We then see a bear dancing and playing drums, which Inuits like to crave and draw. Dancing whales, seals, walruses, caribou, hares, or even dancing Inukshuks can also be represented. This is the meaning of the dancing bear according to the Inuit tradition. <laughs>